Engine ignition, two, one, and liftoff as the countdown to Mars continues. The launch went off without a hitch. Good thing, too, because this latest mission to Mars is carrying the most sophisticated exploratory equipment ever sent into outer space. HD cameras capable of recording the actual descent to the planet. Microphones to pick up the first sounds. A high-tech helicopter able to fly in the super thin atmosphere and gather aerial images beyond reach of a rover. Plus, on board that thing is also a way to to pave the way for human beings to go to Mars. I mean, we're looking at processing the Martian atmosphere to extract oxygen out of it. But Perseverance's main mission is to collect samples of Martian soil and rocks. Retrieved by a future mission, they'll be the first material brought back to Earth from another planet. An unprecedented opportunity and challenge. These samples are going to be treated like level four biohazard, just like we would treat Ebola. So we have to protect these samples from Earth and we have to protect us from these samples. The samples will be collected from a place called Jezero Crater. Three and a half billion years ago, it was filled with water, fed by a river that left sediments behind, now preserved as rocks. Ultimately, we're looking for evidence of life. If we find even, you know, microbial life on Mars, it really opens up the possibility that life of, in one form or another is incredibly abundant throughout the whole universe. The true promise of perseverance, the tantalizing possibility that we're not alone. Aaron Saltzman, CBC News, Toronto.